Telugu cuisine is a cuisine of South India native to the Telugu people from the states of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. It is also the cuisine of the Telugu-speaking population of Karnataka and Tamil Nadu with slight variations due to local influences. Generally known for its tangy, hot and spicy taste, the cooking is very diverse due to the vast spread of the people and varied topological regions. All three regions Coastal Andhra, Rayalasima and Telangana have distinctive cuisines, where in semi-arid Telangana state region millet-based breads roti, is predominant staple food, while rice is predominant in irrigated Andhra and Rayalasima regions and ragi is popular in Rayalasima regions which is predominantly semi-arid. Many of the curries, known as kora, snacks and sweets vary in the method of preparation and differ in name, too. Andhra Pradesh state is the leading producer of red chili, rice and Telangana state as millets in India influences the liberal use of spices, making the food one of the richest and spiciest in the world. Vegetarian, as well as meat and seafood, coastal areas, feature prominently on the menus. Papu, tomato, gongora, and tamarind are largely used for cooking curries. Spicy and hot varieties of pickles form an important part of Telugu cuisine. Regional variations There are many regional variations due to topographic differences in Telugu-speaking populations spread over a large area. They can be classified based by region into coastal Andhra, Rayalasima, Telangana cuisine. Cultural factors that have heavily influenced the cuisine over the years are the eating habits of the Hindu royal, Brahmin, and the Muslim Nawabi royal families. Andhra Pradesh and Telangana states' proximity with western, central and eastern India makes those border regions' cuisine more diverse with Telugu population spread into neighboring states. Different communities have their own variations and the rural areas still follow the centuries-old cooking habits and recipes. Coastal Andhra the coastal Andhra region is dominated by Krishna and Godavari Delta regions and is exposed to the long coastline of Bay of Bengal. Hence rice, dal, and seafood are the staple diet of the people. This region has its own variations, but ultimately the dishes are predominantly rice-based. This region is one of the largest producers of rice and chilies. Nellar region in the southern part of the region has its own unique recipes, which are markedly different from those in the Uttarandra region. Ulava charu is a famous soup made from horse gram. Bhamadala palusu is a fish stew that is a specialty of Andhra Pradesh. Andhra cuisine is more dominant in restaurants all over Andhra Pradesh as well as Andhra restaurants in cities like Bangalore, Chennai and New Delhi. Most restaurants in Andhra Pradesh have food of nearly same quality. Uttarandra Uttarandra region is the northeastern districts of Srikakulam, Vizianagaram and Visakhapatnam bordering Orissa state in coastal Andhra. While Visakhapatnam district has its own distinct dialect and cuisine which is closer to the rest of Andhra, Vizianagaram and Srikakulam have a slight difference in taste compared to rest of Andhra. The cuisine of this area has its own distinctive flavors and unique taste, while it shares many similarities with Andhra region cuisine. The people of this region like to eat many of their foods sweeter than other regions of Andhra Pradesh. They often cook lentils in jaggery, referred to as belum papu, enjoyed with butter and steamed rice. They cook vegetables in gravies of menthapitina kura, fenugreek seed paste, avapitina kura, mustard seed paste, nugugunda kura, sesame paste, etc. Alakaram is another popular dish where vegetables or corn seeds are flavored in shallots or onion paste. Pori and patoli is a favorite breakfast or festive dish. Patoli is soaked split black chickpeas, sanagapapu or chana dal, ground to a coarse paste and seasoned in coriander seeds, onions and, at times, with cluster beans Upapindi is coarsely broken rice upma steamed with vegetables and tempering seeds. This dish is had during festive days when people fast during the day and have it at night. Atu which is also called dosa is standard breakfast in Andhra Pradesh which is served with coconut or tomato chutneys. Idli is also very common in homes. Ingava charu is a sour and sweet stew made with tamarind and hing. It can be had with rice or upapindi. Bellum palusu is another highly flavored thick sweet stew made out of rice flour, jaggery, cane sugar, corn cobs and whole shallots. 
The pickles vary from other regions of Andhra Pradesh. Avakaya is mango pickle which is part of a standard Andhra meal. They sun dry mango pieces with mustard powder, red pepper powder and salt soaked in sesame oil to give the pickle extended shelf life. The result is a darker hue and sweeter taste. This method is followed to withstand high moisture from the Bay of Bengal coast. Karapati, popular curry powder that is served with idli, dosa and upma. Rayalasima Rayalasima, the southern region of Andhra Pradesh, has some unique dishes in its cuisine. Rayalasima cuisine is famous for being spicy because of the liberal use of chili powder in almost all the dishes. Sima Karam is unique to its dishes. There are different foods and snacks made in the Rayalasima region. Some of the main courses include rice, jhana, joar, ragi roti with a combination of nayi as well as ragi sangati, usually served with spinach or palusu. Ugani is a dish unique to Rayalasima region especially Anantapur, Kurnool and Kadapa districts and Karnataka where it is called as agan. It is made by boiled paddy corn and is generally yellowish in color due to liberal usage of turmeric powder and is usually served with mirapakaya bhaji, chili bhaji. Ugani bhaji is served primarily as breakfast but generally eaten as a snack food too. It is spicy and is one of the ethnic and authentic dishes of Rayalasima and eastern Karnataka. A tyrasalu or a tyrasa rice-based vada using jaggery, pakam undalu, a mixture of steamed rice flour, ground nuts, jaggery, borugu undalu, a sweet variety made corn of joar and jaggery, and rava ladu are the sweet specialities. Masala borugulu or nargis mandaki like snacks, panganaalu wet rice flour, fry with oil, carrot, onions, chilies or other savory specialties. Telangana The Telangana state lies on the Deccan Plateau and its topography dictates more millet and roti unleavened bread based dishes. Johar and Bajra features more prominently in their cuisine. Due to its proximity with Maharashtra, Chhattisgarh and northwest Karnataka, it shares some similarities of the Deccan Plateau cuisine. Staple Telangana foods Telangana in its cuisine, there is special place for rotis made from millets, such as jhana rot sorghum, saja rot penicetum, or sarva pindi, and upudi pindi, broken rice. In Telangana a gravy or curry is called kora and palusu, sour, in based on tamarind. A deep fry reduction of the same is called vipudu. Kodi palusu and mamsam, meat, vipudu are popular dishes in meat. Bankaya, brinjal, kora or guthi bankaya, alugada, potato, kora and fry, bendakaya, okra, palusu and fry are one of the many varieties of vegetable dishes. Palakora papu is a spinach dish cooked with lentils eaten with steamed rice and rotis. Peanuts are added as special attraction and in Karamnagar district, cashew nuts are added. Popular Telangana curry dishes known as kora include bodhi, derived from mutton and thunti kora made out of red sorrel leaves. Potlakaya palusu, or snake gourd stew is one of the daily staple dish. Sakanalu and garalu are the most popular fries, fritters made of rice flour during festivals like Dushara and Sankranthi, making them very delicious and one of its kind fries of South India. Telangana vegetarian foods in Telangana regions tamarind, red chilies and asafetida are predominantly used in Telangana cooking. Rissel is a major staple used extensively in curries and pickles. Sarva pindi, a spicy pancake, is a staple breakfast, made with rice flour, chana dal, ginger, garlic, sesame seeds, curry leaves and green chilies. Puntikura chana dal, a vegetarian alternative to gongora gosht, chana dal is cooked in spices and tempered with mustard and curry leaves. Bachali kura, a tangy spinach curry cooked with tamarind paste. Pachi palusu, a spicy, raw rasam made with tamarind, chili and onions. Prepared mainly in summer. Rail palaram is a traditional food inherited from forefathers which is made from rice flour. Steamed rice flour balls are stir-fried with soaked chana dal, curry leaves, green chilies, onion and grated fresh coconut. Some of the famous food of Telangana saja roti, maka roti, sarvapindi, upudu pindi kudamulu rail palaram pasham sweet done in two ways, one with jaggery and milk and the other with talukalu prepared of dough. Odapa Payalalu Sabudana Upma Antubules also called as bhaji palusu with vegetables Kadambam Maka Gudalu Bibarla Gudalu Sala Pachi Pulsa. Pachi Palusu Chala Charu, a dish prepared by tempering buttermilk. 
Atakulu poha makahona garalu ponganalu saja kudamulu with onion chutney sadhulu varieties of rice, mainly cooked for sadala bathakama festival different flavors are as follows sesame, nuhulu, groundnuts palilu, bengal gram, putnalu, coconut, kobari, tarmarind, chintapandu palusu, lemon, nimakaya, mango, mamidikaya, yogurt, perugu, guttaloop prepared with different beans, black-eye beans, corns, chana, sprouts along with some spice and onion. Sakanalu – rice flour snack garhe, a sweet filled with a combination of either sugar or jaggery, with lentils. Rotu – takulu – are famous again, generally, they are prepared by semi fry the vegetables and grind it on a stone grinder tools, or in a mixer with adding thadka to it. Caligora aka Caligalapula Kura mixed vegetable curry generally prepared during Sankranthi festival Telangana non-vegetarian foods Oru Koti Palusu, Telangana's special flavorful country chicken curry. Galachina Mamsam, a spicy mutton fry ankapur chicken, a fiery country chicken curry boti curry kala kura, paya, mutton curry snacks and savouries sugar matagulu is a sweet made with milk and butter with sugar coating, and farda feni, is another sugar coated crispy wafer sweet. Recent years has seen a resurgence of Telangana cuisines in restaurants around Hyderabad with the availability of Telangana Thali dish for lunch. Andhra breakfast tiffin, a typical Andhra breakfast consists of a few chosen from the items listed below. Usually it consists of idli, garalu aka vada, deep-fried lentil dough, minipatu aka dosa, rice and lentil-based pancake or crepe. Tea, coffee with milk or only milk is sometimes taken with these dishes. The most common dishes are, idli, urad dal and rice steamed dumplings, often eaten with freshly made chutney or with nayi added and sprinkled with karap potty, chili dal powder, or chutney and sambar. Andhra dosa, a rice and urad dal based, pancake or crepe eaten with condiments like chutney and sambar. Minipatu aka, dosa, rice and lentil based, pancake or crepe fried in flat pan laced with cooking oil, accompanied with chutney and sambar. Pesaratu, a mung dal based pancake or crepe fried in flat pan laced with cooking oil. It is usually served with ginger chutney. Sometimes pesaratu is filled with upma, known as upma pesaratu. Diba atu, idli batter based dosa, idli batter poured into a thick and deep frying dish and fried until the outer layers become crispy and brown. Atakula dosa, dosa made from atakulu aka. Poha. Rava dosa, dosa made with suji dough with chili, coriander leaves, onion and pepper. Andhra upma varieties Godhuma upindi, upma made from broken wheat flour. Upudu pindi or upindi aka. Upma, upma made from broken suji flour. Sagubayam, sago, upma, upma made from sago, sabudana. Samia upma, vermicelli upma, upma made with vermicelli. Andhra Vada varieties Garalu, a type of Vada, deep-fried lentil-based donut, or regular deep-fried dal mixture. Punukulu or Punugulu, Banda, a deep-fried dish made from idli, dosa batter. Gunta Punugulu, made from rice and dal batter fried in half-sphere-shaped pan. Sagubayam Punugulu, Vada made from sago, sabudana. Mong dal Punugulu, Banda, a deep-fried dish made from idli, dosa batter. The pala chekalu, a deep fried rice and dal based flat vada added with onions, curry leaves, and chili. Andhra atakulu or poha varieties atakulu, also known as poha in northern states, moist rice flakes sauteed in little oil. Atakula dosa, dosa made from atakulu aka poha. Atakula upma, upma made from atakulu, just replacing atakulu with suji. Andhra bread and roti varieties nokulu anam, made corn of joar and jaggery. Chapati – flattened wheat dough heated in a flat pan. Served with dal or chutney. Puri – wheat dough deep-fried in cooking oil. Served with potato bhaji or chutney. Though a North Indian dish, it is prepared on some occasions and widely available in all restaurants. Andhra lunch and dinner Lunch and dinner are elaborate affairs in many Telugu households. In a majority of urban households, the food is served on stainless steel or porcelain plates, while in traditional and rural households, the food is served on banana leaf. The banana leaf is used during festivals, special occasions and for guests. Many restaurants in middle budget in smaller towns use banana leaves for serving. At times, vistaraku, a larger plate made of several leaves sewn together, is used. The traditional packing material for long journeys was sun-dried banana leaves. 
A complete vegetarian Andhra meal in restaurants and homes consists of rice served with ghee, pulahora, chapati or puri, sambar, papu, lentils, charu, rasam, fried and wet curries, apadam, papadam, odayalu, pachati, avakaya and yogurt. Food in general contains more chili and spice mix in Vijayawada Gunter region than rest of Andhra Pradesh. Vegetarian presentation for presentation, papu, dal, lentils, and koralu curries are placed to the right of the diner, while spiced pickles, pachati, chutney, raita, a saucy condiment with dahi, yogurt, and vegetables and papulu padi, dal and dry red chili-based powdered condiment, and nayi ghee are placed to the left. On some occasions special items such as pulahora tamarind rice, lemon rice, and garalu vada are placed at the top right. A large scoop of anam plain white rice, is placed in the middle. Small amounts of nayi is added on rice, avakaya mango pickle and gongora rissel leaf pickle are two varieties of pickles which mark the spice and flavor of Andhra cuisine. Course and servings anam is a staple of the entire meal and is typically mixed with the other course using the right hand. It is the main source of carbohydrates. Spiced pickles, pachatis, patis and papadam are available as condiments. The order of a meal is to start with madati mudda first bite with an appetizer of an origaya spiced pickle followed by a papu, which can be made with vegetables added or eaten plain with a pickle. It is the main source of protein for vegetarians. This is followed by a couple of kora varieties curry main dishes either only vegetarian or a combination of vegetarian and non-vegetarian for getting their vitamins and minerals. A papu or rasam or a charu usually kadi is the third part of the course. The fourth course of the meal is either a perugu curd or yogurt or is majiga buttermilk accompanied by a spicy pickle or any of the other condiments. After meal pawn or somph, arsinut, beetle on pan leaf is offered in traditional households. On a festival or auspicious occasions, a sweet which is usually paravanam is served with the meal, which is usually eaten first. Kora, kura, curry, main courses, kora, kora is a generic word for a protein-based dish. The actual dishes are called by the material used and the style they are cooked. The different methods of cooking are bipudu, fry, crispy fried vegetables, typically including okra, bendakaya, ivy gourd, dondakaya, potato, bangaladumpa, kolakasia, and several regional vegetables, but prepared separately for different days. Papu kora, lentil-based dish, boiled vegetables stir-fried with a small amount of half-cooked lentils, dal, potty, powdered dal-based condiment or seasoning, mixed with rice and spoonful of ghee or sesame oil. Guju, gravy, tomato or coriander seed base adding drumstick, brinjal, okra etc. Palusu, sour paste or gravy, palusu kora, aava petty kora, stew dish, boiled vegetables cooked in tamarind sauce and mustard paste are two main varieties of palusu. Karam petty kora, kora potty kora, literally dish with curry powder added, sautéed vegetables cooked with curry powder or paste, served as a solid mass. The vegetables can be stuffed with curry powder or paste and are usually cooked whole. Papaharu, thick dal broth, or charu, diluted than a sambar, charu aka. Rasam clear soup, origaya, pickled, avakaya, gongora, nimakaya etc. Pachati, pasty, saucy condiment or chutney, kabari, coconut, tomato, gongora, dosakaya, gamadikaya, alam, ginger. Other gravy-based curries are chiefly made with vegetables cooked in tomato sauce and onion with coriander and cumin powder. Papu, dal Papu, dal, lentils, tor dal, candy papu, or mung dal, pesara papu cooked with a vegetable or green. No masala is added to the dal. Some regions include garlic and onion in the seasoning while some regions prefer asafetida, hing, ingava. Candy papu is often cooked with leafy vegetables palakura, spinach, gongora, malabar spinach, and vegetables such as tomato, mango, anapakaya. Sometimes the cooked version of the dal is replaced with a roast and ground version of the dal like candy pachati roasted tor dal ground with red chilies and pesara pachati soaked mung dal ground with red chilies or green chilies. A very popular Andhra combo is mudda papu plain tor dal cooked with salt with a vakaya. Palusu Palusu sour, is a curry-like stew that is typically sour and cooked with tamarind paste. Other common bases are tomatoes or mangoes. The mixture can be flavored with mustard, chilies, curry leaves, jaggery, onions, or fenugreek. 
Fish, chicken, and eggs are typical meat additions. Pachi palusu is an unheated version of palusu typically made of mangoes or tamarind consumed during warm months. Majiga palusu – sour buttermilk boiled with chana dal and coconut paste Menthi chalap menthi majiga – sour buttermilk seasoned with ginger, green chili paste and menthi seeds fried in oil. Makalu palusu – made with anapake ayurugu, the last item of the meal. Purugu curd is normally consumed with an accompaniment like pachati or origaya. Pickles Pachati and origaya are two broad varieties of pickles that are used at times with rice. Pachati is like a sauce typically made of vegetables, greens and roasted green, red chilies. It is prepared fresh and is consumed within a day or two due to a short shelf life. Origaya is prepared in massive amounts seasonally and uses liberal amounts of chili powder, methi fenugreek powder, mustard powder and groundnut peanut oil. For a typical andrite, no meal is complete without this essential item. It is consumed on its own mixed with rice or is also eaten as a side dish with papu kora. Non-vegetarian Apart from a sizable population who are vegetarians, most of the population cook non-vegetarian dishes. The state has abundant seafood and has extensively established poultry industry. Lamb meat is another traditional fare cooked with century-old recipes. Apart from Hyderabadi biryani, the rest of the state has its own recipe and generally known as palav or andhra biryani. Kodi, chicken palav is one of the most enjoyed dishes across all of the state. Royala palav made with shrimps is considered a delicacy in homes of coastal Andhra Pradesh. Mutton biryani and mixed biryani chicken, mutton, and shrimp are the other popular biryani dishes generally available in restaurants. There are many local variations such as kaja biryani, kunda biryani, pot biryani. Kodi, chicken kora and mutton lamb kora are two popular dishes, often made with a range of spices and condiments. The gravy base is usually onions, tomato, coriander, tamarind, and coconut. These gravies are mixed with steamed rice on the plate during lunch. Also pepper is used for fried meat dishes. Popular dishes served commonly in Andhra-style restaurants include the spicy, Andhra chili chicken, chicken roast, and mutton pepper fry. Among seafood, tamarind base is widely used. The state's large shrimp farming makes shrimp and prawns widely available. Andhra restaurant chains and hotels are very popular in other states due to its extensive variety of meat in the menu. Talakaya kura, a hearty, rustic meat gravy with bold flavors. This delicacy is made with the lamb's head, coriander and spices. Chepala palusu, a luscious fish curry redolent with freshly ground spices and tamarind juice. Endu chepala vankaya, a flavorsome dry fish gravy cooked with brinjal. Royala kura, prawns cooked in a tangy paste of tamarind and onion. Gongora mamsam, a spicy curry made with tender lamb pieces cooked in gravy of gongora leaves, and freshly ground green chili paste. Kodi gudla palusu, egg curry flecked with chopped onions, green chilies and bright bits of coriander. These curries are usually served with steamed rice, bagara khana, basmati rice cooked with aromatics, saja, roti, millet flatbread, or jana roti jor flatbread. Andhra cuisine has some native non-vegetarian snacks such as kodi pakoti, chicken pakora, chicken 65, pitha pakoti, crab pakoti, chepa vipudu, fish fry, royala vipudu, shrimp fry, etc. Other snacks inspired from Indo-Chinese cuisine such as chicken 65, chicken lollipop, chili chicken etc. are also extensively available but they will be generally modified by using generous amounts of spices and chilies. Bimavaram town in West Godavari district is very famous for its unique non-veg pickles such as chicken pickle, shrimp pickle, and fish pickles. The agency forest area near Rajamundri is very famous for bongu chicken, bamboo chicken curry. Evening snacks, tiffin. At home, many savory snacks make an appearance during evenings. These include upma upma, bundi bundi, 
Karapusa Karapusa Panganalu Panganalu Baji and Bandalu or Punukulu Baji, Bandalu or Punukulu stuffed with spices and dipped in chickpea batter and fried with spicy dips, Alam Pachati, varieties and variants, Mirapakaya Baji, Chili, popular evening snack all across the state, Bamu Baji, Vankaya Baji, Brinjal, Eritikaya Baji, Plantain, Urla Gada Baji, Potato, Vegetable Banda, varieties and variants, Pakoti Pakoti. Uli Kadalu Pakoti Asterisk Sana Pakoti Asterisk Vankaya Pakoti Varieties include Royalu Pakoti, Kodi Pakoti, Ullapakoti, fritters made with sliced onion and spices in chickpea batter, Gare Gare Gares are a deep fried and spiced dough. Varieties include Perugu Gare, Avadalu Avadalu Gare are marinated in a yogurt sauce, Bellum Garalu, Rava Garalu, Uli Garalu, Pula Garalu Marukulu or Jantakalu Jantakalu Varieties and Variants, Asterisk Pesarapapu Jantakalu, Chala Murukulu, Chegadalu, Segadalu Sakanalu or Chakadalu Kakadalu, Shakli, Chekalu or Chupulu Sekalu or Kupulu, Maida Chips, Kolakasia Chips, Plain Papadam, Aam Papamaramaralu or Popped Rice, usually mixed with tomatoes, onions, coriander and lime juice and chili powder. Bean pea snacks include Senegala Talampu, Gugalu Gugalu etc. Mixture, Bundi mixed with chopped onions and lemon juice. Sweets and savories Sweets and savories form an important part of Telugu culture. Made on festive and auspicious occasions, they are given to visiting relatives. Some of the savories are also made for the evening snack. Kutharikulu, a famous sweet preparation where sweet powder with cardamom flavor is stuffed into very thin pancake skins made of rice flour. Kaja variations of this sweet preparation i.e., Madatha Kaja and Kakinata Kaja are relished across the state. Sakanalu is one of the most popular savouries, it is often cooked during Makara Sankranti festival season. This a deep-fried snack made of rice flour, sesame seeds and flavored with ajwain, karam seeds or vamu in Telugu. Kaji Kai is a fried dumpling with the stuffing of suji, dry coconut powder, and sugar. It is usually prepared during Deepavali, some more to name. Sunandalu – Ladu made from with roasted urad dal, manapapu, and jaggery bellum, sugar a generous amount of ghee is added to enhance to the taste. Bundi Ladu Pornam Boralu aka. Pornalu – Chena dal is cooked to soft and cooled, jaggery and cardamom powder are added and the mix is rolled into balls. These balls are then batter fried. The batter that is used is made from urad dal. This sweet preparation is usually served during festive lunch. Rava ladu Bakshalu or Babatlu or Polalu Tapaswaram Kaya Palagam aka. Pingali, a sweet preparation made on a festive morning as offering for the deity. Soaked rice is cooked in a generous amount of milk usually in the ratio of 1 to 2.5 when the rice is cooked well broken jaggery is added and finished with a splash of ghee and fried dry fruits. Payasm Gavalu Chakoti Chakarapangali Sugar Pongal Laskora Undalu Coconut Ladu or Raskora Undalu Coconut Ladu Bundi Palathalakalu Rava Kesari Papahekat Jidalu Malai Kaja – traditional Neller sweet. Kabari Lavuju – grated coconut flesh in molten jaggery or sugar syrup Venipalu Rural cuisine in rural Andhra Pradesh, agriculture is the predominant occupation. Some centuries-old cooking practices, especially the use of mud pots, are still in vogue but are being replaced by steel utensils in recent decades. The earlier recipes in each village were also largely dictated by what was grown and available locally. In the drier districts, joar, sorghum, bajra, millet, and ragi are still in use, while eating rice is seen as a symbol of prosperity. In delta and coastal districts, rice takes a major role in cooking. 
See also Telugu Telugu people Telugu diaspora Indian cuisine References External links <laughs>